next let's identify a function module so what is a function module a function module is also another uh, technique to modularize but uh, the subroutines were with, created within the program but function module can be created separately uh, in another t code like se37 and that function module can be used by anyone in the sap system so let me show you how it looks in the system i'm in the same program so if I double click on this subroutine, so this is local to this program, okay, massage underscore data is local to the report program. If I double click on here, I see something called call function. So if you see this keyword, you need to understand that this is a function module. So this is a function module which SAP has written. We can also have a custom function module and you know how to identify them. It will start with the Z, okay. So this custom or this is standard function module was created by SAP. They knew that we will always need to do some uh, conversion means uh, a material number can should be converted from external format to internal format. So say the external format is less 10 character but internal format of uh, material number is 18 character. So to do all our processing within the ABAP code it has to be 18 characters which we do here. But in HANA this 18 character has been moved to 40 characters. So maybe uh, when you work in HANA, you will see that the MATNAV is uh, 10 characters in your output or in the screen. But when you see in the table, it will be actually a 40 characters and there will be leading zeros in front. So this function module helps us to do that. So the function modules can be custom as well. How do you know that? See, this is a custom function module. I am in T code SE37. Look here, I am in T code SE37 and I have a function module which starts with ZAP. If I go inside, there are a bunch of code. So this function module can be used in any program and it can be transported to your quality and production system and it can be used from it can be called from any program any workflow any class anywhere anywhere in your system okay this is all for reusability so if anyone says tell me the function module uh, you just ask him the function module and go to SE 37 and then give the function module name say I'm going in SE 37 I'll show you how I go to SE37, I'll give the function model name, I say a display, then you can go and check what code is written inside. So don't worry about what is written here, I'll show you in details how to do this as well. So I have tried to show the same thing in this slide as well. So if you see here, you have this call function, this means the function module can be opened in SE37 and you want to see the detail, go here. Similarly in standard programs also, they use function modules like they pop up to confirm this is a function module because it starts with the keyword call function and if you go inside the code if you want to see what's inside you go to SE37 and check it or you can just double click on this place and it will take you here and uh, if someone asks why function modules are used it's just for reusability that means the same piece of code can be used in multiple places so it is for modularization and reusability